Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Monday Night Football on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a terrific matchup on tap between the Baltimore Ravens and the Cleveland Browns. Tonight, we reach the unofficial midway point of the season with a good Monday night battle between the Baltimore Ravens and the Cleveland Browns. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. This fielded a few yards into the end zone, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So now the Ravens getting ready for their first go on offense. And here's a look at their leader, standing 6-4. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing yeah. happen in practice. He's so, and so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not, that tells Get me it's not just a one-time thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Come on, set. The first hey, down run got five. Here's second and five. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he finally goes down, but not before Let's reaching go. the Let's 21. Go. A big play that time for the Ravens. 49 yards. Big run on the opening drive, and they better watch out for this guy or it's going to be a long game. Back when I played in our scouting oh, reports getting ready for games, we put stars next to the guys that we thought were the key players on the other side. There should have three or four stars next to that guy's name. And one here in Connor. And oh, it popped it up. And this is picked up by the Browns. That ball will blow you, boy. That ball will blow you. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Three buzz, three buzz. Tight off. They begin with Henry. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Throwing on second down. Watson. And they work this well up field across the 45. Let's go, let's go. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Watson, flushed to his right. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. So throw again on second down. Watson steps away to his left. He finds his target, Beckham. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is, finish this drive off because it took it away, right? So now you got them back on the heels a little bit. Now go down for the touchdown out of it. Look out, you've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. Slam. Check, check. They'll try to run through Henry. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. And the ball is smacked down on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll give Henry another shot. And he will push his way forward down to about the three yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Defense. So instead of forcing the field goal, it'll be Let's first go and goal. Go. Yeah, the force was trying to make something happen that just didn't need to, right? I mean, the plays happen, let it go. It's over. Instead, he creates a penalty.
So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. A shotgun snap for Watson. And oh, it'll be intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. Pick that. Good stuff. Keep doing that. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, in we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. Six, six, they got one. High. I don't think they were above all the week playing out to their defense, but the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. Keep playing hard. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. Here we go, here we go. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going on, the control and things, and re-establishing the offense scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But I also like what the runner is giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out of here and take off. We got four. General West. Hit it. It's Connor, and that'll hurt the average a bit as this time That's they're able to get him behind the line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Blue draw, Parker. They go. Back to throw here. They'll we'll dump this one off to Connor. And it's a fumble. And this is picked up out of bounds. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Can we get some forensics done here? Because I need to figure out. What on that ball? Yeah, on the ball, on the guys carrying the ball. Mike, what's going right on? Back to back drives, back to back fumbles. That just doesn't make a whole lot of sense if you're coming out of the play in the NFL. I don't think the coaching staff thinks it makes a whole lot of sense either. No, maybe there'll be changes, but if nothing else, there will be a few stern talking to us, that's for sure. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down in a 21 yard gain. I got you, punk. Check nine, check nine. Still going. Check six, you got oh. First down carry Watch for Watch Henry. Quick. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. I see you, boy. I see you. On second down, here's Henry. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. Check Mike 57, Mike 57. That's right, baby. They don't want it. We're scoreless after one. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football. They're up against a third and two to start things out. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy. Oh, it's a nice luxury to have. And he's in. Touchdown, Browns. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. As his guys are on the board first here tonight. Well, we had the scoreless first quarter of play. We sure didn't have to wait long into the second quarter to get some action on the scoreboard. So was the first quarter a feeling out process? I mean, that was an interesting quarter, wasn't it? Because we had some action. We had some good play. Just didn't have any points. So now it's game on. This is taken about seven yards deep. Let's go. Let's do this. The Raven Ten offense over. set at the line for this next drive. And Charles, if the season Max ended today, Fox, it's not going to We still have to see yeah. a lot more football in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs. And that's what you're really seeking. But there also is a much larger error for this team, right? Because a two game losing streak could have them the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep yeah, the momentum going. Boom. Absolutely, there's some sharks smelling blood in the water oh, behind set. them. Mike, Mike is 6'3", 218, jump! Here we go on second and 12. That'll be taken in there by Miles Boykin. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Recon, 132 fighter. Ready? Out of the gun now on third down. He's going to walk one deep. It's caught inside the 25. 
And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scambling. His fourth touchdown on the year as they are now on the board here in the first half. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot in the end zone and made it pay off. That's it, baby. We got work. The Browns drive about to get started. And you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, our first place in the division, looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals, right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. Number three goal, and the biggest goal, I think, is to be the highest seed possible that you can be heading into the playoffs so that you can grab as many home games as possible to try and get you to the Super Bowl. And right now fighting for everyone possible to try to at least secure home field for the wild card and or divisional round. From the 50, it's Watson. Let's talk about football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. But one thing's for sure, when you get a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you got to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let... That's caught inside the 20. That goes for a game of 30 Let's go. Let's go. A lot of running backs in the passing game, they're just used to check it down to them and maybe dump off passes. But this guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they? The stretch it right there, turned it into okay, a really nice like game. Just... From the red zone now, Watson flushed out right. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. From 19 yards away. And the Browns have taken the lead. So that's the rookie's first trip to the end zone. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. Rosas good with the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. Let's this will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Ready, ready. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. This is Kyle. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. Ready, break. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Second and three. That's caught by the former Sooner, Mark Andrews. And the tight end is certainly position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. We got this. They've got good hands. Then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. That's complete to his running back counter. And he'll be brought down right hurry, at the 45-yard line. That's what I'm going to do. It'll be a game of six. They'll bring up second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing oh, offense nowadays. Six ready? yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Six, six, pull it high. Top to the left. Move. Step. Back to throw now on first down. And this will be incomplete. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk tight, about tight, an tight, offense's tight, ability tight, to keep a defense off balance. But what I'm, they're doing, I think the Congress has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit. But nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. 
There's no running backs in the backfield to help get the, pass protect. All the receivers in their patterns. These are going to be hot routes. If they sense a blitz or a pressure on the quarterback, they've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, never had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 36 yards on the play. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. They'll run with him. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Tackle made there by Tony Jefferson. Looking to throw on second down. Watson. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Watson down the throw. Eluding the pressure line. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. <laughs> Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm down right. They did something to disrupt that timing. To throw is Watson. And that is going to be incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. So we have reached half. Well, why don't we hold off on the halftime update after all? Seems like everyone's ready to go here for the second half in week eight in the NFL. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. All day, baby, all day. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers. Counters is also You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Pick it up. Slam. Slam. Delta, Delta. From the gun, here's Watson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Bud Dupree able to finally wrestle him down for what's just going to be a huge loss. And it takes us to fourth down as well. That would be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slow. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the Most of most the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of the grip, and there is loss of football. And this is picked up by the Browns. They find some open field here. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for the Browns TD. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. PAT up and good by Rosas. And it's now 21-7. So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Let's go! 
Set. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it. And that's what you don't want to do. Ready, ready. And Andrews lost the football. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Let it, let it of scrimmage, the 37 on first recon, and 10. 152 fighter. Five. Back to play. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. That's good for go. Raven go. first down, 15 Here yards 70. there. Indy. So a first bombers. and 10 Keep upcoming from this territory now. Way to boil, and he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line. Oh, yeah! The completion good for three, and it's second down. Set, ready? That first game. down completion Eight only nine. netted him three. Cover, second and seven. Cover. Here's a second and seven. He rifles one that's what? intercepted. What? Picked off at the 35. And they finally put it into this return, but not before he's all the way down to the 37. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, in the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. Here's Watson, and that'll be incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes. Well, 9.9 times out of 10, just missed that one. 23 on, yards, let's the go, final let's tally. Go, let's go. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So an incomplete pass a moment ago, and that leads to second and goal. Trying to run this one in. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was playing it in the backfield. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Here's Henry. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Being chased out. And this is going to be intercepted. Snags it for the pick. My bad, guys. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Yeah. Quarterback gets Ten outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And the receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy there. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right? As a receiver, you ain't you're going going open. Open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. No gain oh. on the play there. Second down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are. Here. Now. On the road and just run the play away from the right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. And that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. The only question is, can this offense step up? Because you know, like, that's been an issue for them this year. Throw here to Andrews, the tight end. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Ready. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. 
And getting this just shy of midfield, they spotted at the 49. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind when you came running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not a chance, not with him. We've seen it too many times. And he's got this down to the 35. Get ready. Get ready. 16 Get ready. yards on that one at a Raven first. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to New rush just yet, but you can't take your time. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Joe Schroeder. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that was going to hurt, and in a big way. Trying to shake off the interception for the last drive. He'll look to throw, and that's caught inside the 35. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 36 yards on the play. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, they still... And they'll take it into the end zone for Brown's touchdown. And the King Rover, his first touchdown on the year. And the first turnover on defense leads to six points. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Five of the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to do just the dirty work inside. He gets a chance to get into the end zone as well. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be Let's a touchback, and it go. comes out to the 25-yard line. Ready, ready. The 18, Raven offense Gator. set at the line for this next drive. And, and there are parts of their last 61. drive they'd like Max to emulate. Fox, and of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together Charles a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, it does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish the drive. That's the only way you can get it done. Back to throw down, second and ten. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Let's go. 15. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. 218, jump. Five. He'll drop to throw. Screen pass to Connor. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23 yard line. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their goal. keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. Going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it this time. Doesn't work out. And the Browns are going to get this thing back. Excellent field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. They'll try to run for it on first and goal. And he takes this one in for Brown's score. A great effort there. With his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Browns are going to tap on to their advantage. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Rosas good with the extra point, and that will increase their lead to 28. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Set, 
60 yards. The Raven offense set at the you line for this next you drive. Bomber. And last time, yeah. went for it on fourth down. Turn it over. Gave a great field position. Turn it six points. So, they got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? Let's go. The Let's decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I got confidence set. in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't Top happen. Board, topper. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm -hmm. They didn't pick up their end. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. There's the Penn State man. It's Chris Godwin. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. If he's their best threat on offense, use your number one cover check, guy check, on defense. Check. It doesn't matter about size. They have had That's him locked it, up. That we just his first catch of the game. Here we go, here we go. The reason why they're down. Tucson. So it's Raven football five. here as we welcome Bristol, you back. Seven. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. Hey, and finally down he goes on, as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That one nearly 30 Seven, yards, ready? 29 70, officially. Ready? They'll drop the throw. They'll get that one complete to Kyle. Go, go, and the stop will come inside the five at the four. Three yards is the game that time. Second and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. And just a short game that time as they're able to get him down. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. And this is caught for a touchdown. Now hold everything here. Flag in the backfield. This one might be coming back. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize it's going to count. Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Credit that breakup to Greedy Williams. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is in the second down. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself Good respectable. Work, and that's what they're doing here. Let's they're just go. dressing up the final score. Here comes the Browns' offense back onto the field. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one's all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for sure. We got a play in the cap. And this will be caught the 30. And all the way down to the 29. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Throwing now, Watson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. Mike's 56. Come on, baby. Come on, let's go. Throwing on third down, Watson. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? Yeah, at the one-yard line. One-yard line. They gave up excellent real estate on that one. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown. touchdown. And the blowout continues. Touchdown, baby. Well, I've got a laugh here, and I really don't want to because the old school of me is not happy about this score this late. Not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This, is how, this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, what, what does it matter? <laughs> These guys who are playing in this game, there are no feelings exactly. there. Exactly. They don't have to face the guy. Well, they might if they're in the same room going head to head. 
But that's the that virtual is. guys on the screen don't have to face each other after this one. In that case, run it up. The uh, fourth quarter, they felt oh, like they needed the base. football back. Yeah, Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. Spin. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team is expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score a special teams, 90% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Now, one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end.